An Austin-based company is aiming to take the lead on creating the next generation of Texans with a new insurance plan out that covers primary infertility. Here's KXAN's Wes Rappaport with details on this first-of-its-kind coverage plan. We don't know what the insurance is going to cover in the future. Sandy Knott of Cedar Park is a planner, and her 13-year-old son is at the heart of many of those plans. Getting through middle school, getting his driver's license, all things that, you know, I'm slowly preparing for. Including having a family of his own. Knott says she's lucky she didn't have any challenges starting a family, but she knows it can be tough for others. So when her friends developed an insurance policy to cover infertility, she bought it. I may not be able to help him out when He's in his 30s and trying to start a family, but right now I can afford it. Jason Musi and Eugenie Shea spent five years developing LifeSpring's infertility insurance policy. It's designed for kids 13 and below. For $2,000, those kids will have access to 50 grand from when they're 18 to 35. That can be um, used on infertility medication, uh, minor procedures, outpatient procedures, and all the way up to IVF. The policy was approved by the Texas Department of Insurance this year. On average, it costs $42,000 to uh, have a child through infertility treatment. Um, that's just not possible for a lot of people. And so we're really excited we're going to be able to give them the opportunity for less than $2,000. One in eight people is going to have this problem, and so this is the path to parenthood for some of those people, for, for our future generations. It is odd thinking about my 13-year-old who can't think about anything other than baseball and video games, to think about what is he going to be like and what will the struggles be in his life when it's time for him and his future person to start a family. LifeSpring is not your only option for insurance relating to infertility. There are other insurance plans on the market offering varying degrees of infertility coverage. But the Texas Department of Insurance tells me many employers choose to opt out of making that coverage available because of the cost. I'm Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The LifeSpring team plans to expand to other states next year. The company's policy does not cover costs associated with adoption as an alternative to in vitro fertilization.